What happened, Frank? What happened? Some two police were trying to grab one of these kids. That kid was asleep and he was just like Run away. And from two police. They were grabbing from him. He sleeps out. They grab from him, sleeps out, and grab from them. He still sleeps out. They run outside door. You fucking with this shit? One some slippery son of a bitch. Holy shit, I'm like. You slipping like a snake, man. Oh, okay. I don't know why they trying to grab me for, but, you know. They chased him out of here, though. Well, he, actually, they were grabbing him, trying to grab him, and he ran out the door, man. He was just, yeah, but did they, they run after him? Yeah. They were gonna, I don't think they're going to catch him like that shit. No. Nah. They catch him. They get on the mic. <laughs> From every direction. Yeah, then he'll sleep out somehow. But two guys were just on top of him, he sleeps out. Oh, oh chance of that shit. Like three times from in there, out here, there you from there. Damn! Damn. 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 You still can't come in here, bro. I don't know why you keep trying. You cannot come in here at all. You cannot come in here at all, dog. At all. So, there's no reason for you to stand in front of my doorway. Like, Y'all need to clear from in front of the doorway. That's all you had to say. We'll move from the door, man. You got them. You got them. Please, the one that nobody I got a heart. 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 I got Two yeah, I know it's true. Then they jumping over here, then he slips out. They jumping over there, then he slips out and run outside the door. Three times. So he never hit the ground. He hit the ground three times. He was on the ground three times. Yep. He was in the ground, he just put on the ground. Then it's like a little fishy, he just... <laughs> then they put him on the ground over here. They run up and grab him and put him on the ground, try to put the handcuffs on it. He slips out. Then over there, there's another police with grass and two of them jump on top of them. He slips out of them? So there's three cops involved in two, two, two yeah. police. One, 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 or two, and he just gave me a hand up. Yeah. Yeah, but he slips out. Hand up. So he ran, he, did he have the handcuff on him? Uh, yeah. He did? Yeah, he was one hand hand up. Oh, okay. want to take a picture with him. Okay. We can't always try to see you. You did not come from Japan. Who did you come from? I want to autograph. What did you really come here for the Chicago to do? To see you. No, you didn't come from Chicago to see me. No, you didn't. We came we, we got here looking for you. Yeah, y'all didn't come. Y'all may came here, but y'all didn't come to Atlanta. Yes, we did. Why would you come from Chicago to see me? What else did you want to do in Atlanta? You famous, you popular. So you do me like you did. Well, that don't make any sense. So what did you really come to Atlanta to do? Family out here, right? Okay. So you came to visit family, and then while you was here, let me go down to see if this fool's over here. Yeah. Okay, that makes. We didn't say food. But that makes more we sense. Said security. That makes more okay, sense. Yeah, I felt like that. Ain't uh, you don't want, <clears throat> can y'all take a picture with you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you already on camera, I mean. <laughs> you need to turn the phone, honey. I said, we, he know how to work time. Let's turn the phone. <laughs> uh, that long way. Hold on. Let me fix my <laughs> I don't know about all that. Might not be popular with the boys in Chicago. Thank you. You are. Why are you in my building, gentlemen? Why are you standing in my doorway? I don't understand. No, I get out, bro. Why you standing on our block? I don't understand. 
You don't understand? But I'll explain it to you if you like me to. I'll explain it to you. If you don't like it, stay out of my building. Both of you. Stay out of my building. Dude, you pull the tape out. Dude, get out my door. I ain't gonna tell you no more. The next time you step in my doorway, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. Cause I told you not to be in my building already. Go ahead and step in there. Go ahead and step in there again. Step in my doorway again. Step right here again. Find out what I do. Step right there. Well, come on, dog. Step right there. Cause you know I can't do it. You say I can't do it. Step right there. You never nah, you ain't gonna do that. You never will. I ain't gonna let you do that. Step right there. When you step up to help him out, I'm gonna bust you in your face. I'm gonna knock you out. Show up. That's what the fuck's gonna happen. Right. Stay out my doorway. When you get ready to bust me in the face, bust hey, me in the face. Dude, you pull a gun out on me? You pull a gun out on me, nigga? Bust me in the face. You pull a gun out on me, nigga? You pull a gun out on me, nigga? You pull a gun out on me? Bust me in the face. Why do oh no no, dude! You got a permit? You got a permit? You got a permit? Get up on me! You got a permit? You got a permit? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. You got a permit for that weapon? You got a permit for that weapon? You got a permit for that weapon, dude? He got a gun. What gun? He got a gun in his pocket. Huh? He got a gun in his pocket. He pulled it out on me. And he pulled it on you? Yes. I see it come out of his pocket. 73 P Street Southwest. Why Hazel ain't chasing that? Yeah. Yeah. Darren Long. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, dog. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm black male. I got a pair of blue jeans, black pants. When you send the underground out here, everybody will know who I am. Black shirt and I'm wearing a pistol belt with a taser and a firearm, man. Hey, man. Marcus Thorpe is running around here with a gun. He pulled it out of his pocket and he flashed it on me. Which one? Marcus Thorpe. I don't know who that is. Got a picture? Of course I got a picture. Yeah, of course I got a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I gave, he, ran, he ran on Alabama around the fourth side. Hold on. Now, did he pull it out and point it? Or like, what no, he got a little jacket pocket like so. And I asked them boys why they were standing in front of my place, and I told them if you step your ass on here again, talking to one of his friends, William Wright, uh, I go ahead and put you in handcuffs. And and Marcus Store said, "Well, I ain't gonna let you do that." I said, "Well, as soon as you run up to help him, I'm gonna bust you in your head." Uh, you and he, him yeah, if he run up and help him, because I'm trying to put his man in handcuffs. Which, I'm going to bust him in his head. At which point, he reached into his pocket and showed me his firearm. So I'm not, this guy's convicted of drugs. He's been, he's got convictions for drugs. So he can't have a firearm. So I called it in to 911. So I don't know who's going to respond. How was you calling me? But his name is Marcus Thorpe. And I probably got the whole thing on camera, video. So. I don't know, but fuck that, man. Right now, all you have on him is he's not allowed to be in the property, inside the property. Yeah, he's not allowed to be on the property, yeah. And both of them were on the property when I came out of my office and I saw them, they were both like inside the door. Okay. And I came out and asked them why they was there. seeing you? Yeah. So they walked out the door, so I didn't put my hands on them, right? But I'm just telling them straight up, don't come back on the property. That's William Wright right there. The gray hat and the red. 
the gray hat red yeah. walking away? Yeah, walking away. That's William Wright right there. So is he the one that did anything? Or he just friends? No, no. So yeah, you, they were both on the property, but he's not the one with the gun. Okay. I'm telling him if you come back on the property, I'm gonna put these handcuffs on you. He said he ain't gonna let me do it. Marcus Thorpe said if I do it, I ain't gonna let him do it. I help you. And I'm just saying, if you run up on me while I'm trying to put some handcuffs on this dude, I'm gonna bust you in the head straight up. And he showed me that weapon. The man's been convicted of drugs. He cannot have a weapon. Okay. That's absolutely. All right. Let me know. Well, well, I've already called it in, so I don't know who's going to respond to the call, but you should look for the man, right? Because now, now that he showed me that weapon, he put his hands in his pocket around me again, that man's likely to get shot and killed. I done found the one. He done put his hand in his pocket, pulled out a weapon. I done found the one. That guy going to get hurt. That guy going to get hurt. Cause I know he's had, I know he's got drug convictions. He can't have a weapon, <laughs> and he got one on him. That guy gonna get hurt. That guy gonna get hurt. I know, gentlemen. I'm the last person you want to see. However, listen. There's two gentlemen on my property, William Wright and Marcus Thorpe. So, upon seeing me, they left the building. I asked them why were they on the property. You know, you're not supposed to be on the property. Little words exchange to tell William Wright, if you step your ass on the property again, I'm going to put you in handcuffs. No, you're not. And Marcus Thorpe said, uh, I won't let you. And showed me a pull out of his pocket, showed me a firearm. Now, Marcus Thorpe has been convicted of drug charges. He cannot have a firearm. So, I, I know I got the whole thing on video. I'll go check my videos and see if there's a firearm in it. But, uh, and I asked him if he had a permit for it and I actually tried to hold him because I know he's got drug convictions. He cannot have that firearm. Simple as that. And he ran away and with my fused ankle, I cannot run him down. Oh, well, I mean, if, if you don't, I mean, you don't know for a fact that he's a convicted felon since you don't have direct omics. Um, criminal history. Criminal history. Um, you know, we, we still have to do our job. It's not illegal for people to carry firearms. It is illegal to threaten people with a firearm. But, you know, I'm just, just giving you a heads up. Yeah. A lot of times, unfortunately, in Fulton County, they might get convicted of it. They'll give them a misdemeanor conviction instead of a felony conviction. But he ran down Forsyth? Yeah, he ran out of here. Uh, turned left on Alabama. He was in all black. Oh, he turned black. left on Alabama? Alabama didn't turn left on the Forsyth. He's going to be back out here anyway. Yeah, he will. He'll be back on the back side. Yeah, but he's not coming back out here with that firearm. No. Now, I'm telling you right now, I've got other video with him him and I exchanging words, and I'm telling you right now, that guy reaches his hands in his pocket again. He's liable not to go home. Hey, man, you got to do what you got to do to make sure you go home alive. All right, do you want this video? You interested in it or just let it go? Take a look at it, and then we'll be here for a few minutes. Take a look at it, let me know. Yeah. Out. I feel out right here at this time. <laughs> Frank, this pen sucks. No, it's not. I would never buy such a thing. If you can, I know you've got a lot of video. If you can find video from you told him not to come back. Yeah, I, I give you several times.
Yeah, I got you. I'll take care of it. Oh, approximately. 45 hours 28 February 13 You too. I wrote a statement if you got a lot of C video. Hey man, not a problem. Cool man. Good deal. Okay, uh, the disc will be there tomorrow. Uh, no later than one o'clock with the case number on it. You work out at Underground? You 
know I do. Oh, I wasn't sure. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's my spot, bro. Okay. Then then you'll have it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Your name's on the card. Yeah, Delaney. Okay. Uh, just leave a message for me, um, and I'll get it, and we'll get it into evidence. All right, not a problem. All right, sir. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, right. mm -hmm. be safe. All right. All right. This look, got him. Aggravated battery. Uh, uh, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. So that means if you see him, he's got two or three felonies. I know. So, you know, he'll get a, he'll get convicted at least one. So he got arrested. He got arrested seven times last year. He's got arrested twenty times in his lifetime between between the, the ones that I can count. So he's twenty five. He's been arrested twenty five times from everything from criminal trespass. So you don't have mental problems. Yeah. Well, you know what? He's gonna have one in jail. <laughs> right. A prison, really. And he just need to be there a while. Maybe get his head so, straight. If you send him, you gonna call the cops on? Oh, I shouldn't see him at all. Yeah. Unless he bonds. I shouldn't. I shouldn't see him at all. Why? They got him. Yeah. I thought he was running away. He's sitting out there in the car. They caught him right there in the back door. He, he stupid ass dished the gun and came right back. So they got a gun with him? No. They he dished the gun and he came right back. Exactly, because a smart person would have just left the area. Yeah. <laughs> say now you're trying, you're when they're trying to blend this area. All depends on what cops you talk to. The white cops don't care. Some of them. Go ahead and do it, man. But be careful. Watch your language. Watch what you do when you get outside these doors. Watch, watch yourself. Because when, when I exit these doors, I take on a whole lot more liability. A whole lot more. Right, man. He is, he got to be the stupidest person alive. I mean, not that I'm the smartest either with what I did, but Wait, man. You saying that shit right in front of the camera. You doing all these shit in front of the camera, so. Um, and even if my back camera had been on, it would have caught it would it would have caught it all. But I only turn it on when shit's happening. But you know, I front them off so much that you know that's just a wake up call to me. I front them off so much, man, that I don't think about it too much anymore. Like you know, this is just a dance that we go through. <laughs>